you right guys, in this video I'm going to be making a Japanese style art piece to hang on the wall. Now this is going to be a gift for a tattoo artist, so I really hope that he likes it, and I hope you like it too. I recently got a tattoo from Tony Carey. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can find his work. Shane and Tammy also got the same tattoo. It's a great way to symbolise our friendship and also commemorate my trip. As I'm in the States, I'll be using Shane's workshop while I'm here. As you can see it's a huge space, it's going to be very difficult to go back to my tiny shed workshop. Tony loves Japanese art and culture so I thought a Japanese scene with his name would make a nice gift. I'll be using a piece of maple for the piece. With the design applied to the wood I used a small rotary tool to carve the design. To create the lines and finer details I used a V-shaped bit. I'm not used to using this style of bit but it worked quite well. I always start by outlining the design. To remove the bulk, I used more of a straight style bit. Again, I'm not used to using this style of bit, but it worked great at removing the bulk material. With the carving finished, it's time to add the milliput inlay. The two part epoxy putty is just pressed into the carved areas and left slightly mounded above the surface. It can be sanded flat later. It doesn't look much at the moment, but after leaving it overnight to set, I can begin sanding. Sanding is never fun, but it doesn't take that long to get the bulk flush and reveal the design. The last part of the design is to stain the sun red. To do this I use some rubbing alcohol and red food colouring. I wanted the grain to still be visible, so I think the food colouring was a good choice. Applying it with a cotton bud was okay but it did bleed over the edges in a couple of areas. I scraped off those areas though and I'm really happy with the end result. At the mitosaur I cut the piece to its final size and then off camera I chamfered the edges and added a hanger to the back. To finish it I sprayed three coats of spray lacquer, not from a can this time but using an actual paint sprayer hooked up to an air compressor. It's a vast improvement to using cans, looks like I'll need to pick one up when I'm back home. And that's the piece finished, I really hope Tony likes it and I hope you do too. So that's it then guys, nice and simple, I think you'll agree. This could be applied to loads of different designs of course, and as you know, I use Milliput a lot. I'm going to put some links up on the screen if you're interested. Over here, 
you can watch the playlist of all my vlog videos while I'm out here in the States. And over here will be a playlist of all my build videos if that's what you're more interested in. So thank you all again for watching. Please don't forget to click subscribe and click the little bell icon next to it so you get notifications. Leave a comment if you want to comment anything. I answer all of them. And of course, if you want to, please share it with all your friends. That really helps me out a lot. Thanks again for watching.